At Southeastern Pond Management, we stock trout in your pond, really to uh, heat the fishing up in the winter time when you know your bass and bluegills slow down a good bit and you just really can't get a bite. These trout are so aggressive. They pretty much hit anything from inline spinners to curly tail jigs. I've even seen uh, folks catch them on golden raisins or pieces of Slim Jim or even just balling up pieces of bread and throwing it out there. They put on a great show jumping around uh, and just a ball to have in your lake. When we stock them, we go pick them up at the hatchery and we've got specially designed tanks that are aerated. And uh, what we'll do is we'll fill those tanks up with really cold water and, uh, and bring them to your pond bank. And we've got some small trash pumps that we will pull water from your pond into our tanks to, to get these fish well acclimated to your water. We've got these DO meters that, that test the dissolved oxygen levels of the tank. And then it also tests the, the water temperature. Rainbow trout really like cold water. You know, that's where they thrive in. We'll check your lake, see what the temperature is, see what your oxygen levels are, and if everything is kosher, we'll net them out and we'll bring them over to the edge of the pond bank and we'll actually toss them in. And this has kind of caught a lot of pond owners by surprise because of the way we throw them in, but it's actually better for trout to be sort of tossed in the lake versus just you know laid in there like you would do a big bass. Once we get your trout in the lake, I would highly recommend setting up a feeder uh, and feeding high protein food. You can set those feeders to go off several times throughout the day and what it'll do is allow those fish to, to really train to that food and if you've got kids or even yourself you can get out there and fish around those feeders and wear them out. Uh, we can stock them as early as Thanksgiving and you'll have them in your lake for uh, several months. When you get close to March, April and May it's time to start harvesting them. These fish are great to eat. You cook them just like you would cook a, a, a regular trout uh, out of a stream. I highly recommend stocking rainbow trout really heats up the fishing in the winter time when the bass and bluegill will not bite. They're so aggressive. If you're looking to not get skunked on, the, on a cold winter's day, rainbow trout are the way to go.